Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the how to construct a network diagram for a given project. This is I will discuss with one example problem. Let's see the problem. Listed in the table are the activities and the sequencing necessary for a maintenance job on the heat exchanges in a refinery. Draw the network diagram. Here observe the total number of activities are 10 and activity A is not having the predecessor activity. So activity A is the starting activity. Then let draw the activity A. Next observe the activity B. For activity B, A is the predecessor activity. So B will be start after completion of A. So let draw the activity B. Next observe the activities C, D and E. For these activities, B is the predecessor activity which means after completion of the B, C, D and E will be starts. So draw the activities C, D and E. Next observe the activities F and G. For these activities, predecessor activity is C, which means after completion of activity C, F and G will be starts. So let draw the activities F and G after completion of the C. Next observe the activity H. For this, F and G are the predecessor activities, which means after completion of the F and G activity, H will be starts. So let draw the activity H. Here, observe that when the activities F and G are having the common successor and predecessor activities for activity C and H. So, draw a dummy activity at the F. Next, observe the activity I. For activity I, D, E and H are the predecessor activities, which means after completion of the D, E, H activity, I will be starts. So, draw the activity I. But here observe that when the activity H only the predecessor activity for the activity I. For this, we have to modify the activity D like this. Here, I started after completion of the H and D. And one more thing you have to observe that one the from the table for activities D and E are having the common successor and predecessor activities that is the activity B and I. So here draw a dummy activity from the E. So next activity is the J and it starts after completion of the J. So let draw the activity J. Here J is the terminal activity. So next we have to give the numbers for the all the events and numbering should be higher at the head activity. So it should be the like this. We have to give the higher number at the head of the activity. So this is the solution and thank you.